aside from all the global humanitarian efforts, Dr. Stavros Nikolaou is one of the loudest voices on equal access to health care in Africa, localized manufacturing of medicines, as well as social cohesion, including supporting the country's youth sports development initiatives. Now, recently, Dr. Nikolaou was awarded the Hellenic Argo Award in the public service category by the Greek president in recognition of his humanitarian efforts. Uh, the awards honor persons of Hellenic heritage excelling in their respective fields from all over the world and promoting Hellenic excellence on a global stage. And to talk to us more about the award and of course the importance of corporate citizenship in youth sports development, we are joined virtually now by Dr. Stavros Nikola, Group Senior Executive at Aspen Pharmacare Holdings Limited. Uh, Dr. Nikola, thanks so much for your time. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning and good morning to all the viewers and thanks very much for having me on uh, this morning. Let me say on behalf of everyone here at Morning Live and SABC News, congratulations on uh, the award and of course it is well deserved. Uh, were you surprised when that came through? Uh, yes, I, I actually was surprised. I wasn't expecting it. I was uh, in fact sitting in a meeting going through emails uh, one Sunday afternoon and uh, I picked up this email and I, w I wasn't even certain of its veracity um, but then obviously checked it out later in the day and uh, it, it was unexpected but I think uh, suffice to say uh, two things around the award. The, the first is a, an award can never be attributed to a single individual. There are many many people in life that you work with, um, even people in media uh, that assist uh, with doing very important humanitarian and public service award, uh, work. So I can never attribute an award to one single individual. It's it's really a team of people. And then I think the second thing for me was uh, the relevance of the award. It's always wonderful when other countries acknowledge the work that South Africans are doing. Uh, and that for me was the most uh, important aspect of the award is that I live 10,000 kilometers away um, and I think it is a tribute to the work that South Africans do and it gets recognized by other countries, uh, Greece in this instance. And of course, it also speaks volumes about the uh, capabilities we have here in South Africa. So those were the more important aspects I felt about receiving this award. And very lastly, um, when I did my acceptance speech, uh, I made the point that um, in these difficult uh, global and geopolitical moments that we face, um, it's, it's really important to build bridges and uh, this was a very important bridge building exercise between South Africa and, and Greece. Um, I got to speak to the Greek president and I think uh, there's a warm relationship between the two countries and I think these are the type of relationships using these type of awards that we need to continue building on. So we build bridges globally instead of uh, some of the destruction of bridges that we are presently witnessing in, in many theatres of conflict around our world. Uh, Dr. Nicola, your name has become synonymous with global activism, uh, especially in the healthcare uh, equality and access in developing under-resourced regions of the world, uh, particularly here on your home continent of Africa. So where did your passion for public service and humanitarian work start? I, I think very simply, um, you know, I, I, I live my life on the basis of uh, where can I have the most impact? You know, no, nobody's going to live forever and we should never live our lives as if we're going to just accumulate things and you're going to live a thousand or two thousand years. We don't know how much time we have on this planet and I think that the little time that you have got, I think you've got to try and use your skills, your talent, your expertise, your networks uh, to try and have an impact on society and that's pretty much the mantra that I follow and I work for a wonderful organization, Aspen Pharmacare, uh, which uh, shares that same uh, global and domestic commitment. So it's, it's a natural fit for me and I think we all should in our own, in our own spheres of influence and in our own uh, worlds that we operate in, uh, we should live our lives to see where we can have the most impact for humanity and the most impact for society. So that's basically where it comes from. 
and I've been very fortunate in my life to be given many opportunities from uh, my student days, in fact, uh, up until now, to contribute meaningfully, and I intend to continue doing so into the future. Dr. Nicola, you know, uh, it's been a great year for South African sport. Uh, from Banyana Banyana's World Cup performance, the Netball World Cup being hosted here in South Africa, uh, for which I think uh, we saw we won another award uh, that I was talking about this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, also, not us per se, but Netball, I would think. Uh, but also the Rugby World Cup win, that's been massive. Uh, the Proteas doing well at the Cricket World Cup, going out at the semi final stage. You all also very passionate about sport and I was telling people what I love about you is I see you in spaces that the limelight doesn't necessarily fall on uh, where you are supporting uh, youth sports development uh, why is that so a, a couple of reasons but be, before I respond to you um, may, may I uh, congratulate the Proteas uh, last night we never made it right but um, honestly, that semi-final could have gone either way and sort of one or two catches could have held and could have been a different outcome. But they need to be congratulated because they did well against the odds and last night they, they fought back and showed true resolve. So to Temba and his team, congratulations. Didn't make it, but we certainly conducted ourselves extremely well in India as the Proteas. Now, let me talk a little about sport. Um, uh, there are very few things in life that unify a nation as diverse as, as ours. And we see, we see that uh, whenever there's a World Cup and our teams do well, uh, we've seen it right from 1995, um, the, the so-called Mandela World Cup, until uh, a couple of two weeks ago when we won uh, the World Cup in France as the Springboks. So sport has a tremendous role to play in our country around unifying what is a very diverse nation. And it achieves two things. Um, it, it strengthens the resolve of the nation and it leads to better social cohesion. Now, successful nations are those that are socially cohesive. So we can never underestimate the role of sport in building social cohesion in the first instance. In the second instance, one of our biggest, if not our biggest strength here in South Africa is our diversity. And the Springbok team that ran onto the field in Paris two weeks ago and, and won the World Cup is so embraceive of our nation. It, it typifies the diversity of our nation and every single player on that pitch was deserving of his place in the team. And it just demonstrated what we can achieve as South Africans when we embrace our diversity, we work together, we are a real formidable force to be reckoned with and that's really the importance of sport in our country. Now there's a couple of other aspects here that I want to touch on very briefly. The, the first is we have a silent syndrome in our country which is called drug and substance abuse which we hardly ever speak about um it's it's a pervasive problem we know that but it's kind of somewhere in the background hmm. and unfortunately a lot of young kids fall foul and subject to for a whole host of reasons including poverty uh they fall into the trappings of drug and substance abuse and sport is a really important way of keeping discipline, keeping morale with young people because a lot of young people turn to drugs and alcohol because of a lack of morale, they don't see a future, uh, they become ill-disciplined. And sport is a really critical element in establishing that discipline, establishing morale, and what it does is it helps you lead a clean lifestyle. And those are the type of things we need to do as a deterrent to uh, drug and substance abuse in our country. So sport is so critical, not just in the sense of sport, but critical in the sense of a broader societal impact that it has. And it is one of the most important levers we've got in our country, I believe, in creating social cohesion and keeping our young people off the streets and disciplined and uh, morale boosted so that they can have a bright future. Now, mm. let me just say lastly, 
investing in sport, we've just um, uh, partnered uh, uh, yourselves with um, two schools, Emma Tafeni in, uh, in, in uh, Soweto and Gelikdal in Brackpen. Those are two schools that we have contributed sports equipment to. Now, it's so important to do that because you don't know where and when the next Temba Bavuma, Kahisa Rabada, or Sia Kolisi, Peter Steph Dutoy, whoever they are, you can rattle off the names of the next JC Creel. You don't know where they're going to come from. But they will only emerge if they are given that opportunity in life. And you speak to some of these Springbok rugby players, like I've had the opportunity, the privilege to do, they will tell you people believed in them and, and gave them that opportunity. And just that little belief people had in them spurred them on to the great futures that they have now and they've made our nation proud and of course contributed as i said earlier to building social cohesion in our country so never ever underestimate what it means investing in a young person who doesn't seem to have a future just the impact that has on society dr stavros nikolaou thank you so much for your time this morning and uh, congratulations on that fabulous award and uh, thanks to uh, aspen pharmacare as well uh, as you say partnering with us here on morning live